Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I'm back from my Las Vegas vacation adventure situation type of deal. I happily saw Lady Gaga. It was probably, this is I think the fifth time I've seen her perform live. And the jazz and piano show is just its own stunning, amazing situation type of deal. If you ever get a chance to see it, if she ever goes back. I was there for her very last performance, at least of this residency. So she's done for now. But if she's ever back there again and you're able to go see her, do it. I love Lady Gaga so much. She's so good. Now, her pop sister girly, <laughs> Catherine Marie Perry. I'm, listen, I'm... She was something. <laughs> she was something. She was a situation type of deal, and I'm glad that I had an edible prior to attending that concert, because, woo, that was, that was wild. That was wild. But it was, listen, as a gay, I will say it was lovely to hear some of the, the Katy Perry classics, the songs I fell in love with when... I was working at the Hardee's and listened to her sing about um, kissing a girl and liking it and whoever, whatever. So I did, I did appreciate it, but she is a very unserious woman, <laughs> okay? She's just not serious at all. But I had the time of my life in Vegas. It's always such a joy to go there. Honestly, I, I never imagined that Vegas would be like the vibe for me, but it, it always is something special every time I'm there. So I had a great trip, and while I was gone, Amberlynn Reed posted one video, and then today posted a second video. And since the first video is only 10 minutes long, and the second video is only 13 minutes long, I was like, we might as well just sit down and react to both of them, because back in the day, I would react to like 30 minute long vlogs from Amberlynn. And those two combined are less than that. So we can do it. We got it. But I know a lot of y'all have probably already watched the first one. So I'll leave some timestamps so that you can skip around to whichever video you want to watch. If you don't want to watch me do the old one, then you don't have to. And you can just skip ahead to the newest video and reaction, okay? I'm so excited to get into this today, though, because it feels like we are officially pushing the gas pedal down on getting this move going. The first video that we're gonna react to is called The Movers Came, Furniture Is Gone, Starbucks Order, and Publishing My Writing. Bar vlog. So I guess let's just get to get to, shall we? Hello, hello. Hi. Welcome to the vlog. Well, I'm sitting on my bed. We have no sheets. Sitting on my bed. <laughs> sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. I just, I don't know why there's so many things that Amberlynn Reed does on her channel that makes me think of that iconic clip from, I don't know, whenever YouTube started. On her, because the moving company comes today. Yes. Not the only thing coming today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my God. I don't know what in this situation is coming. Probably, probably nothing. Well, maybe she wants to get one last little fingerling situation type of deal happening before she really packs up and moves. All of my stuff is going to be gone. Forever. <laughs> Forever in this apartment, not forever in general. So I'm going to be living in this apartment with no stuff besides stuff out of my suitcase. Okay. A really big chair in the living room that I'm actually getting rid of. Um, that's pretty much going to be the only things here. So I'm going to be living out of that. Me and Feline both are going to be living here with literally nothing for, I would say, like a... A few too many nights, but... That's one fascinating, because I can't... You're just going to sleep in a chair, then? <laughs> you're just going to sleep in a chair? But second of all, I am curious, like, is that... I mean, I don't know how easy it is or is it to schedule movers, but I, I would think if I was going to have the movers come and pack up all of my stuff, I would be having some kind of plan to not be living in an empty home in the meantime between time. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Maybe it's difficult to schedule those things. I, again, have never done a move like this in my life before. When I've hired movers to move, like, cross city, they just get everything done in one day. So, you know, I, I can't really relate. I don't really know. 
but it's okay. We're we're <laughs> we're on a journey, folks. And okay. I've just been not myself. Um, besides this whole moving situation, I've just been going through a lot things that I will never probably talk about. Just not- then shut up already. <laughs> <sighs> like, I'm sorry that whatever's happening is happening, but like, I I don't know what else to say at this point. Yeah, you, you have said it enough. And I guess that's the other thing. If it was just like one time she came on here and was like, hey, I'm going through some heavy shit outside of what I film on YouTube, outside of what I talk about on YouTube. But it's like, at this point, at this point, it's every freaking video. I'm a human. I am complex, and I just have a lot happening. But sure. I notice that when I get really, really stressed, I disappear from from YouTube like completely. <laughs> this happened when I was actually diagnosed with cancer. Uh huh. A lot of pre-filmed stuff because I used to be super like ahead, so I would have. 20 plus videos sometimes just waiting to be uploaded. Uh So when I was diagnosed with cancer, I had so much content that I hadn't even uploaded from prior to me being diagnosed. So I was still able to upload. Sure. And I notice and I go back and I look, I didn't film much content involving like that whole thing because I was so I stressed out and see I see here's the thing about that though this is an interesting choice for her to compare to and I I'd say interesting because I don't actually think it's all that much the same outside of like she was stressed in that situation too but in that situation she did actually let us in on what was going on and so many people were very understanding i know that since then like nick Akato's come out and like uh, implied that she was lying about cancer and i know a lot of people don't believe her i i do in case you don't know what my stance is over here i think it's silly that people don't believe that she had cancer then okay but like that's the thing is when she got diagnosed she came out she talked about it i think her audience was very understanding i think the, her audience had low expectations for what she would or wouldn't do at the time and so the difference is, is that like we were fully a part of that conversation and you didn't have to tell us by any means but you did and people I think for the most part were understanding and so now it's just like you you want me to have some level of understanding for you when I don't even know what what is going on and that's fine you don't have to tell me <laughs> but you are out here dangling these carrots saying, hey, hey, looky here, here's a treat. There's something going on. I'm just not going to talk about it. That's why we need to just get this move over with. Because at least then she can start making content about her new apartment, her new place, or whoever, whatever. At least then we can get that. And maybe we can, I mean... I anticipate there's always, from from here until the end of her YouTube channel, she's always going to come on here and say, like, oh, something happened and I can't really talk about it. I expect that. But at least, at least we'll get something in addition to it once we're wherever she's moving to. And I'm coming to terms that I very much disappear from YouTube when I feel like this. I'm not comparing my cancer journey with my moving uh, journey, no. I'm just uh, saying like in general, when I feel this sort of like stress, I kind of just want to like disappear from the world. And, but, and well, I, I'm still also not convinced she really disappeared when she had cancer. I, I mean, I to be fair, I also wasn't covering her th- the same way back then because I did take a break around that time because it was too much for me. But I, I feel like she was, in fact, still, like, posting and giving updates about it. So I, I don't know. It's just not computing for me today. I woke up today and I was like, I can't keep doing that. So this is currently my office with oh, all wow. my stuff in it. Okay. So this is literally everything. I, I do love, like, she she is packed efficiently, I feel like. Like, she's got things in boxes. It's ready to go. Like, way to go, girly. Let's get this move going. I know a lot of you have been like, why is it taking this so long to pack? Because I wanted to do everything myself. Sure. And oh. I did. Oh. And it was hard. Feline did help me with 
packing the TV. Okay, so you didn't do everything on your own. Like, <laughs> tons of my like paintings and pictures uh, are, like on the wall and stuff. Sure. But I also don't know why. I mean, I guess I think she did actually talk about the reason she wanted to to do it on her own, which is just that she wanted to know where everything was. But like. I also don't think it would be the end of the world if she asked for help from Feline, to be honest with you. Here's everything. This is my huge And beard. also, I feel like, I don't know why she's explaining why it took so long either, because I felt like the vibe I was getting was that she was purposely starting early on it so she could, like, do a little bit at a time. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm feeling like maybe because I'm out of practice, I'm, like, feeling a little bit just like nitpicky today. I'm even irritating myself for the, for the haters that don't like when I nitpick. I'm even irritating myself with all these pauses. I'm out of practice. I'm out of practice. It's usually in my bedroom, but I think in my new place, I'm going to put it in my living room. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. This is everything. Everything I own. Literally the only thing that's not in here is my mattress and my couch. Oh, wow. And then these massive boxes, like that one, that one this guy and that guy those are all clothing okay. and i don't have so much clothing but honestly you that beeping? honestly i don't know if i care <laughs> i don't know if i care about her just pointing at some boxes and telling me what's inside of them she could have been showing us her packing those boxes <laughs> and that would have been way more interesting but she didn't she didn't do all that which actually honestly now now that i think about it now i am kind of like girl Maybe you should have shown us all that. Then you wouldn't have to be over here uh, proclaiming that you did all of these things on your own and you packed all of this stuff by yourself because we could have just seen you doing it. That's the movers backing in their truck. Okay. Them, and they're all super, like, nice. And okay. my stress has been put, like, at ease a little bit. But they're here. It's happening. Let's all fucking right, go. My office is now... Why... Empty. Why is that one painting still on the wall? Or I don't know if it's a painting, but <laughs> why is that just chilling by itself on the wall? Anything that you see still uh -huh. is either a stuff that's Feline's that she's going to take it. Work. Or stuff that we're just giving to Goodwill. Okay. And I think those two things were just given to Goodwill. Stunning. But here I am. You guys, I don't know what it was, but like in the middle of the movers being here, which they were so fucking nice. They were so beautiful. I got emotional. Okay. I had an emotional moment. I was like, I cannot believe that this is happening. I've lived in this apartment well, believe for years, it. and it's definitely become my home. A lot of memories. I moved in this apartment with cancer, and I'm moving without it. Our work. I've had a few relationships in this apartment. I've a, had a few. You've had two. <laughs> Well, I guess unless we're counting the, the Instagram DM love story the, that most recently happened. But that didn't really happen in this home, did it? You you had Beck and you had Wifey. And that was that. If if this is you pretending that there were still multiple Wifeys, get out of here. Tears and laughs and just a lot. Okay, this isn't the memorial yet, so... We're not going to do that quite Dearly yet. Dearly beloved. It's coming up soon, you guys. <laughs> we gather here to... I hope that's the next video. Honestly, I should start looking around if I have... I don't... Where did my candles... Oh, it's right over there. It's right over there. We're ready to go if, if the next video is, like, her, like, officially leaving, leaving. It does have something about... Something about a 15-hour road trip or something in the title. So I'm hoping that will be the last video that happens in this apartment. Hello, hi. It is the next day and I'm super tired. It was a hard night's sleep for sure. And I really wanted caffeine. Okay. there's a lot of things that I have to do today. And I usually get a chai tea from Starbucks. Okay. But for some reason, no Starbucks around here has the chai tea. So I got coffee for the first time in a hot minute. Okay, and Diva. Anxiety. But first fucking coffee. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. So that's fun. It's just like a blonde coffee, like a vanilla, I don't know. 
she, she has no idea. I also got, this is a bacon sausage wrap. Oh yeah, we're we're not doing um we're not doing the old OMAD anymore. I forgot. I forgot because it's been so long since I watched one of her videos. But we did do a quick memorial service for OMAD. Although then she said she was gonna go back to it. I'm curious what she's currently doing, but I'm sure she won't say. Um. Looks like this, and I did ask for like four things of sriracha, did give them. Their sriracha is so good. I don't know what it is. I, I have like literally I'm never thought about the concept of Starbucks having sriracha. <laughs> Like, why would, I guess for their sandwiches, but that is just a, a wild thought and idea to me that Starbucks keeps sriracha packets on hand. What is that about? Dreaming today. Like, truly, I'm so tired. I don't, I don't know. That's okay. Oh, oh, girl. Okay. All right. So this just has like egg, sausage, a little bit of potato, something like that. Oh, it's got potato? It's pretty tasty. Oh, oh, are you okay? The vacuum's going, Judy. So here is my empty. <laughs> you okay, girl? Do you want out? Listen, come, come say goodbye to everybody and then I'll let you out, okay? She jumped off the chair and then she's just, she saw the vacuum or heard the vacuum and she's like, what is that? And then she was just like, I think I'm ready to go, but say bye. Say I love you, everybody. <laughs> Say I love you. Bedroom. There is stuff over here in the corner that is Feline's, but bedroom is officially empty. All right, work. Like a little riddle. So if anyone's curious, Twinkie and I were sleeping on this big chair. That's uh -huh. Because obviously the movers took my bed. So we're sleeping on this big chair together. Okay. That's in the living room. It actually came with my sectional when I first got my sectional when I first moved to this apartment. But I decided I don't really want to keep the chair. I'm actually just going to be getting rid of it the day I move. So are we moving? <laughs> I haven't really officially told her yet. I think maybe I should. Oh. I think she's sad. Oh my God. Oh, oh my god oh my god i mean honestly moving is so stressful to to pets honestly truly i mean i don't know if if the if twinkie store has the the concept of it in this moment but it always i feel like takes some adjustment for dogs i've i moved judy twice and it, like it's always taken like a week or two and actually, luckily with Poe, we moved him during a transition anyway, so he was with uh, a trainer for a couple weeks, working on some of his behavioral issues, and so then he got to come here and just start fresh immediately, so it worked out pretty well for him. But Judy has always taken some time to adjust, um, especially because both of them are rescues, so I think it's just like a, oh, we're in a new place again, I can't do this. Um, so I hope, I hope the move goes well for all the pets. Too. I look around and I'm just like, damn, I'm, I'm pretty soon I'm, I'm not going to be here. So this is actually what I got for the cats for the move. Okay. Because it is a long drive and I want them to be super comfortable. Wait. Um, it has a built-in like litter box so they'll have that they'll have an area for Wait, food they can I'm, go on top of here but i have a feeling they're not going to really want to i'm so i'm so intrigued where <laughs> where does this go in your vehicle do, do you just put it entirely in the back seat does that do, are those things that like zip down do you keep the cats in there so that they can't like leave while you're driving i've never had to transport a cat anywhere so i'm just like this is fascinating to me. This feels like it would also take up a lot of space in your car. But um, it's open in the middle, so they can, like, cuddle together. Oh, together. okay. They both love each other so much. It's spacious. They're going to have room. Okay. I ask the vet, like, should they be in crates, or should we get them something more bigger and, like, comfortable? Something like, more bigger. Do that because... Cats De are definitely do something more bigger. I swear to you, Wasabi are going to literally meow the whole time. I want to make them like as comfortable as possible. Sure. So I wanted like a professional opinion. Stunning. That was on Amazon for like $140. Came in the mail a few days ago. So got that set up so the cats can get like used to it. So okay. sometimes they'll like go in there and they'll like sleep in there and stuff. So they're already getting used to it and enjoying it. So Love. I think it's definitely going to help them feel safer and calmer for the ride work.
Okay. So I have to say, I do just need to say real quick because also oftentimes people, you know, people think that I'm I'm just out here hating on everything Amberlynn does, which I think a lot of you know is not the case. But so far this this particular vlog, honestly, truly, has been a vibe. Are are there things that I think could be more interesting about it? Sure. But like it really does seem to be focused on like her getting ready for this trip. And to me, that's interesting, or at least more interesting than what we've been getting on the Amberlynn Reed show. So usually while I'm walking to like to listen to music, um, I'm listening Quirky. to a lot of Labyrinth lately. I don't know what it is, but... L listening, listening to music while you walk your dog? Nobody's ever thought about that. Y'all, this is the emptiest that you will ever see in my closet. Well, dang. Isn't this crazy? So here we just have some of the clothes that I'm just gonna be wearing because um, I'm gonna be living out of here. So that I just feels have, like, like quite a few of my black pants in here. People think <laughs> I just have one pair. No, no I, I, girl, I know you don't. I know you have 1,200 pairs of them shits. Okay, <laughs> I'm just like more curious how you have like four shirts, five shirts when you're like this is all all you're wearing and putting into this big old suitcase <laughs> that's what i'm more intrigued by it feels like you could get more bang for your buck if you just put a little more in there but instead we're gonna see you in the same four to five shirts i have a lot like this is a lot <laughs> so if you guys remember when i went shopping for the suitcase uh -huh. while i was there at marshall's i forgot to look on the inside so when i got home and opened it i was like oh my god i don't really like the inside of it but i guess it really doesn't matter <laughs> Hello. So, so, so many things of that are so funny to me. One, I'm curious what about it she doesn't like, because I think there's probably, like, some legitimate frustrations if, like, it doesn't have the compartments you want or, like, if the inside zips in a weird way. I also could very much see Amber Lynn, especially seeing the aesthetic on the inside, like, that pattern or whatever it was. I could see her being like, I don't like how it looks. <laughs> and that being enough to, like, irritate her. But actually, truly, what's the most funny about the whole situation is that she wouldn't think to, to look inside of it to begin with because... Uh, it really checks out to me that she just saw a, a suitcase that she thought was cute on the outside and was like, well, that's enough for me. That's all I need to know because she's not ever really truly thinking about like how something is going to function in her life. She's always just thinking about like the aesthetics and and getting to buy something uh, from from my personal watch history of watching her buy a bunch of shit over time. That's usually always the vibe first and foremost. <laughs> before anything else. Holding some, what's, what's gonna call them paper towels? Oh my god. I oh oh my god, so <laughs> quirky. Oh, washcloths. Oh my god. I actually just filmed a TikTok. So there's this like really cute <sighs> song going around TikTok. You're so pretty. You're so popular. I don't know. It's yeah, I saw, I, I saw that TikTok. <laughs> I saw the TikTok and I was just like, okay, girl, all right, keep it moving. Sounds, I love it. Um, I want to be your sweetheart. Yeah. So <laughs> if you guys know, you know. But if you know, like, you know, it's so funny. I a song and I was like, you know what? Here's a little like dance number. <laughs> no, it's not really a dance number, but. It sure wasn't. It was a little moment. Um, So I, I don't know. I posted a TikTok. You guys should go watch it. I've been having so much fun with TikTok. I'm trying not to like post too much on there because like for a couple days in a row, I was posting like six a day and I was like, really need to calm down. And they so were much. all cringe, girl. <laughs> Every single one was so cringe. I'm, I'm so fascinated by her trying to like promote this TikTok business over here on the YouTubes because it's like... Girl, the, you you could let your TikTok blow up so much if you would just let people comment. I'm trying to do all of that. But yeah, it's definitely fun. And I feel like once I move, I really want to like venture out a bit. Um, I want to start like posting more okay. on things. All like, right. Okay, like Instagram. I like don't really post on there. I want to start posting on there more. Like I want to start doing cameos again. Like my cameo is open, so you can definitely request. <laughs> but I just feel like I haven't been talking about it much so i've been kind of slacking on that but like i want to do that I, more and i'm really really interested see here's the thing about her wanting to do all of these things more it's just this like 
all of these things she's talking about take such little effort, at least in, in the ways that she's done it in the past, right? Like, she half-asses a lip sync and posts it to TikTok. In the past on Instagram, she's, like, taken a photo with a filter. Or she spent, like, a day on Instagram stories doing Q&As. <laughs> that, that she herself has said doesn't actually take that much work on her end. Because people used to say, I can't believe you sit here all day just posting Q&As and she's always like, well, it just takes me a few minutes to answer like three or four at a time. So it's just like all of these things you want to do, you could be doing now, especially the Instagram stories thing. You're about to be sitting in a car for 15 hours or whatever it is and and you could be doing it then. So I'm just like, why, why we got to wait for the fucking move? Let's just get to get to. And publishing some of my writing. Let's do it. I've been thinking a lot about it and I just feel like I'm gonna have a lot of time like living by myself to like really be in tune with myself and just uh -huh. write and just focus on something that I'm really passionate about. That's been like very much on my mind. <laughs> and it's gonna just continue to sit on your mind. I, I don't anticipate you're going to actually take much action on any of that. But I would live for more of Amberlynn's writing to be out on the internet because when she posted that shit in the past, y'all authors, writers, English majors, y'all dragged her to filth. And it was pretty cringe. <laughs> So I'd love to see what what she'll come out with uh, if she does follow up on that. Although I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> I'm not holding my breath for that. All right. So the second video is called Weigh In, Officially Leaving Kentucky and 15 Hour Road Trip Bar Vlog. And I am curious, I guess she's taken, she must not have packed up the, the scale to send along with the mover. She must be taking that personally with her in whatever mode of transportation she's taken to get the hell out of Dodge. So um, I'm excited. I'm Let me just repeat that. I'm excited. I've been waiting for this fucking move for what feels like a lifetime. Uh, and so I'm, I'm pumped. So let's just get to, get to with this one too. Hello, I wish I could come on here. Hi. Like, I'm just living my best life, doing great, but this is my life right now. I literally slept in these clothes. I slept in my makeup. I slept in my jewelry. I slept on this damn chair. Uh huh. And I woke up super stressed. Um, I don't really want to talk right now because I look crazy, but... Girl, you look the same as you always do, and, <laughs> and and also on top of that, I'm just like, I'm I'm so curious why she's acting like it had to be this way. I just have to believe that it didn't have to be this way. You well, one at a minimum, you didn't have to sleep in those clothes, sleep in your makeup, do any of that. But that is really par for the course, same as you always do situations types of deals right there because <laughs> you really you really do do that a lot so I don't think that that's just extra special because you don't have a bed to sleep in and you had to sleep on this chair okay but I I again I know I already said this in this video but like I feel like you could have planned this out a little better you know I feel like you could have avoided this situation um mm, there's too many plot twists to this move uh -huh. and it's adding a lot of stress. So I'm gonna like, I would, go get ready for I would love to hear a little bit about them. Look absurd and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm currently in the car. Um, okay. Today is actually my last night in my apartment. Okay, work. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. I had my last dinner there. Um, What'd you eat? Fed my animals their last dinner. Last time I washed my hair there. Last time I did a load of laundry. I was like, oh my god, is that really like a milestone situation type of deal for Amberlynn? But I guess so. I guess hair washing, it's kind of a big deal for her. <laughs> it's kind of kind of a, an important piece of the puzzle. Tonight's gonna be the last time I sleep here. And I have shed some tears, I'm not gonna lie. Um I am going to miss living here in this apartment. Okay. I've gone through a lot here. Hello, good morning. <laughs> this is my last morning of waking up in this apartment. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm also with myself, which I have. She's doing a lot, a lot of the lip smacking today. I also, what a gag. She's going to give us a naked Lynn weigh in. She has, I assume, no top on, but let's, let's fucking go. I haven't done in like a month. I don't know. Also, what, what is the motivation behind, well, I got to get one last weigh in. I guess it's just like the one last hair wash before she leaves this apartment. She's She's got to do one more weigh in for old time's sake in this apartment. All right, let's go. I don't understand why it's so important on the supposedly last day you're here, but let's get fucking to. Okay, my sauce is like 5'11". Might have gained some weight, so let's do it. Hello. It's ready. It's ready. Yes. Five hundred and ten point two pounds. Here's here's the other problem. I don't have a fucking clue what she weighed the last time she weighed in. I'm not out here logging her weight every time she comes on camera because I honestly don't care. Oh. <gasps> I'm I'm guessing on her what reaction. Do do? Wait, that means I'm lost weight? Oh my god. You know what? I honestly think it's because... Weight, weight loss diva, weight loss extraordinaire, weight loss expert. I have been walking more... Why did I think I gained weight? Goodbye. Goodbye. I stopped doing OMAD, and I started eating, like, twice a day. Okay. So I think maybe that, like, messed with my head, so I thought maybe I gained weight. I did, though. I'm actually really happy. Okay. All right. I was expecting to gain weight. I didn't. So I'm part of that. I'm going to accept it. So don't mind my already up here. But you guys remember? <laughs> you know... You know, I'm so I'm so glad she did one last Delulu weigh in before we got out of this apartment. Cause she listen, she will she will make whatever happens on that scale work in her mind for whatever she's trying to believe on that given day. And I feel like she's like, well, it, I, it, it must have been OMAD. OMAD was the problem because look, I started eating two meals a day. I was worried that that was going to be a problem, even though most people do eat more than one meal a day. And I, you know, I started eating two meals. I thought I was going to gain weight and I didn't. So, wow, I'm so happy for myself. Okay. <laughs> All right, what one last little little way in moment before we get the hell out of Dodge? For my gnat situation, and I bought this thing for them. It actually worked. Okay. We have some gnats in there. Mmm. Yummy. Fruit flies. <laughs> it's just it would happen whenever um, we would buy a bunch of fruit, we would get fruit flies. So <laughs> this is the brand Raid. So it did help. Oh. Definitely get it. Okay. So this money tree was my Feline's. She used to be so freaking tiny, but she has gotten so much bigger. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Me. That's, that's what my haters in the comments say. It's like, you used to be so skinny when you started this YouTube channel. What happened? <laughs> well, I used to be so tiny, and then I got bigger, <laughs> and so now here I am. So many new leaves. And then this guy, look how small and cute. Uh, but I'm just sad to say that... This is no longer my child. Oh, no. So I mean, we'll be taking her. Oh, that's too bad. No, I'm just over here wondering oh. if my suitcase going to close. Well, girl, not when you organize it like this. <laughs> no, it's not going to fucking close when you just throw shit in there like that. <laughs> if you if you would honestly just organize it a little better and properly utilize the other half of the suitcase, there'd be no question all that could fit. And I'm glad to see that there is a bit more clothing in there than what I thought was going to go into the suitcase based on the last video that we just reacted to. But yeah, girl, no, it's not going to close when you just fucking toss everything in there. Have you ever used a suitcase before ever? Because she is packed. Well, this is the like last that. Time. That just irrationally <laughs> irritates me. Actually, I don't think it's irrational to be irritated by that. I don't think it's irrational at all. I think it's fair for me to be irritated by her just throwing some clothes <laughs> in the fucking suitcase and then being like, "I don't know, guys. Is it gonna close? I'm not sure." Well, <laughs> you're not even using half of the suitcase appropriately. <sighs> It's not that serious. <laughs> it's really not that serious. I'm not ever do makeup and ever do my hair. 
in this apartment. This is yeah, this is getting to be too damn much, by the way. <laughs> this is getting to be too damn much. It's reminding me of when she broke up with Wifey and she was going through everything and she's like, it's my first time taking a shit as a single woman. It's my first time going to the grocery store as a single woman. And, and all of those things, Wifey was like literally sitting right next to her holding her hand while she did them. But this is giving big that energy. It's the last time I'm taking a piss in my apartment. It's the last time I'm I'm doing my winged eyeliner in my apartment. Crazy. So I'm actually in the middle of straightening my hair. Um, I part it, obviously, in three parts. I'll do the bottom part, and then I'll do the middle part, and then I'll do the okay. top layer. I think it actually kind of looks like a vibe like this with, like, half of it down and half of it up on your, your head and a poop bun. But I'm about to do that right now. We're actually leaving. Who's we? six hours. Who's we? Who's we and is, like, wifey driving you? I want to know the details. In six hours, I will be saying goodbye. Also, why are you leaving so late? Maybe that's why I'm, like, numb? I don't know. For me, I, if I was doing a long-ass drive like this, because, again, the title says 15-hour road trip, right? If I was doing that, I would want to get started early in the morning so I could get as much of the driving done during daylight as possible. Okay, I'm about to close my suitcase. I want you guys to be a part of this journey. This is annoying. Let's see if she closes. This girl is so damn irritating. She, you're really not gonna move any, any of that onto the other side of the suitcase. <laughs> I'm gonna hit something. I'm not. I'm a, I'm a very non-violent person, but it really makes me just wanna throw some hands right now. This is irritating. I, I don't know about this. Oh my gosh, she's, she's so ignorant. She, I had a feeling this was gonna happen. She's so ignorant. Do that one also, time. there are like in addition to like why are we just not using the other side of the suitcase? In addition to that, why I also don't understand is like the clothing isn't like neatly organized in there at all, period. Like even if she just like folded it better and organized it better and tucked some stuff in better. You wouldn't have all of this going on. It's just all around irritating. People do, but they just shovel it in and hope for the best. <laughs> Thankfully, close. She's so <laughs> irritating. Squishy. <laughs> Squishy. <laughs> you know what I mean. We are getting there. This is so goofy. Yeah, folks. I have no idea how I made look, this happen, but look, you can tell. You can tell that this this suitcase is easily capable of handling it all and she just packed it in the most dumb ass way possible. Okay. <clears throat> I just hope I didn't break anything because I do have Nothing's gonna be broken. Perfume. And I literally just painted my nails, so hopefully I didn't ruin that. Oh my god. Oh my god, we did it. She's Hell so silly. Yes. Oh and she's heavy. Alright. She is ready to go. Uh-huh. Oops. So right now we are just gathering the stuff that is coming with us. Oh, look at ride. Twinkie Obviously over there. Our suitcases, blankets that we've been sleeping with. Look at Twinkie. So is, is Feline driving you to whoever, wherever, whatever? She's so I guess so. Who would I don't know who else I thought would do it, but in my in my mind, I guess I've just pictured them both moving to opposite ends of the country. Because in my head, also still, Amber Lynn is going to Oklahoma to be with her mom. <laughs> That's like what's happening in my head. I did also before we get started here today. I did uh, Google like what the drive from Lexington to just like wherever. Uh, in Oklahoma, like obviously I don't know where her mom lives and it looks like depending on where you land in the state 15 hours could be a possibility, like if you go far enough west in Oklahoma, so I'm just curious because I, I didn't think that Wifey was going in that direction but maybe she's gonna just be road tripping all over the state to get wherever she's going we're gonna go, so yeah we've been just gathering and picking up last minute things around the apartment. And this is the chair 
that we have been sleeping in. <laughs> we? All the pillows I was laying on, we? the blanket, whatever. But when she says we, is she saying that she and wifey were sleeping in this chair? Because that... Sounds like a lot and sounds not comfortable whatsoever. I wouldn't be comfortable just for Amber Lynn to be sleeping in there, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's actually super comfortable, but I am getting rid of it. <laughs> also, not her not her saying that right after right after I said that it wouldn't be comfortable. I still cannot believe that this is it. Well, believe, this is it. bestie. This is my living room. Believe. No pictures on the wall, which you guys are used to seeing. Obviously, plants are still here, but, like, this is it. This is it. Wow. A little outfit of the day moment. Last outfit of the day in, in, in your apartment. It's October, so we're able to bring out the sweaters. So this is a cat dress from Toyota. I, I don't know what day of October it is. <laughs> But it only just got cold in Chicago, literally while I was in Las Vegas. So I can only imagine in fucking Kentucky. Although, I don't know, maybe it is cold in Kentucky. From Woman Within, a little comfy floof floof from Torrid. Okay, guys, so I'd say for the last hour or so, we've been just finishing up, you know, like typical stuff. Uh -huh. Like sweeping, putting all of our stuff in the car. We also had some lunch. We had Jimmy John's. Ooh, okay, what'd you get? What's your order? This is it, you guys. This is it. Um, so I'm purposely doing something. I am purposely, like, acting as if I am coming back. I mentally don't want to, like, process fully that I'm moving or that this whole situation is happening. So I'm not. And in the past, I feel everything super strongly, but these last, this, like, last month especially, I'm blocking out a lot of... A lot of feelings. I'm so I'm so. so I'm so glad that all that work you did with your therapist has been so helpful, <laughs> so helpful because this is, you know, uh, a, a normal way for a, an adult to deal with a relatively like normal thing for folks to do. And I I don't I'm I guess I'm saying that like I I feel a little rude in saying that because yeah I'm sure it's hard to start a new chapter and <laughs> this that the other. It's just like. Girl, I, I realistically, <laughs> did, did you think you're gonna stay renting this apartment forever? Like, I don't know. Realistically, like, let's find some ways to cope with how we're feeling about things instead of just being like, well, I'm blocking out the concept of me moving. Like, I'm just acting like it's not happening. That's not a realistic way to approach the world, life, etc. Oh, oh, these feelings are hard to deal with and, and cope with, so I'm just gonna pretend like it's not happening. It's clearly not working out that well for you, considering you just in the last video said that when you get super stressed, you don't do your job, which is YouTube, right? So, like... This this thing, you might feel like it's working and helping you, but it's clearly not. You're clearly not functioning in the way you want to. I don't know. It's probably very unhealthy, but that's just, like, where I'm at right okay. now. Okay. All right. Look at poor Wasabi in the car. Oh, baby. They're hating this, but... See, I was it? like, this is gonna have to take up, uh, like, nearly all of their back seat, and it sure does. I'm like, where's Twinkie gonna go? Where are you gonna go put little Twinkie store? Big, look at how cute. At least they have a big area to be together. Okay, so we're officially in the car. Oh, we they got the stuff. Back they here. got that shit jam packed. How are you gonna see out your rear view mirror? How are you gonna see out the rear view mirror on this fifteen hour journey? Uh, you see Wasabi crawling on that top part. And where's Twinkie? So we're probably not gonna get to my destination for like a good 15, 16 hours. That's a long time. So, and we're doing majority of the traveling in the dark so we can get there like in the morning i don't under i don't understand that i don't understand i guess like maybe that's sometimes when people prefer to drive but i would 100 percent prefer to drive during the daylight i just like driving at night stresses me out so oh my god this is gonna be a journey like i didn't really want to like 100 percent talk about it but like yeah i'm having some anxiety i don't like being in the car i have car anxiety uh -huh. on top of that for some reason i keep thinking of like blood clots <sighs> i also have like <sighs> health anxiety it is what it is those are just like my current thoughts that i'm just like afraid i've never been in the car for this long before the longest i've ever been was about 10 hours um, that was from Florida to Kentucky, and this is now going to be my longest road trip ever. 
at 32 years old. So I'm very nervous. I okay. I mean, I'm hopeful for her. I'm also just like, did we? what kind of precautions did we take to deal with this stuff prior to? Because I think some of those things are probably legitimate concerns. Uh, she she has talked extensively in the past about, like, not dealing well with being in the car. Talks about how being in a car for a long amount of time makes her swell. And I'm just like, if these are concerns of yours, like, what do we do in preparation for that? I don't know. Maybe there's nothing you can do. Oh, hello. It's been, I don't know, I'd say a few hours. Okay. And everything's fine. Um, we're just stopping to get some gas. I'm going to walk around a little bit. I'm going to stretch. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure where we're at. I think we're a little bit past, like, Bowling Green, Kentucky, which okay. I've actually never been before. So she, have- so she is, I believe, I believe that means she's, yeah, she's moving west. She's moving west, because I think that's on the opposite end. In fact, I think Bowling Green is somewhere on, like, the, the western part of Kentucky, because, one, I think I've driven through there, but two, I remember it coming up whenever I, um... Worked in higher ed, and when I went to IU, I don't know. Maybe I'm making stuff up, but obviously she's going west. A long ways to go. We still have over 700 miles. We started at I don't even remember what it was, but we've gone a couple hundred. So okay, yeah, we're doing the thing. Let's fucking go. So far, like I feel fine. Um, I was expecting to maybe be in some pain. Honestly, also wait. Can I also just pause again? giving some positive affirmation here. This is way more of the moving experience than I anticipated us getting. (laughs) I did not anticipate her picking up her camera while she was in the car on the way to wherever the fuck we're going. So I'm I'm pleased. Just in case y'all think that I only have shit to hate on, I'm pleased with how much we're getting. In the sense that like this is is much more than the very little content I thought we'd get. Okay, so the bar is still very low. I will say that, but like I'm pleased. I'm definitely starting to like swell and stuff, but I I completely expected that. Let's do a little haul. Ooh, a gas station haul. Smart water. Okay. Yes, I did. Feline also got one. Work. She also got a vanilla Coke. Wow. Work. So good. And then we got some of these Walters mixed fruit. Work. Chewies. Y'all look. Ooh, what's at that? The city. We're in Tennessee. Oh. So. Looks pretty. Tennessee. Okay, hello. I was gonna say that looks like Tennessee from having driven past Tennessee before in the past. Oh my god, I just feel like I said the same word twelve hundred times. But now I'm like, is all of this making sense? <laughs> maybe, maybe she's. Is that? I thought. Let me pull up a map because is it Tennessee east of Kentucky? Now I feel like all my geography skills are are fucking going. I'm fucking losing it. All right, let me start by looking up Bowling Green, Kentucky, and where that's at in relation to Lexington. Now I can't, now where did it go on the map? Now where, now where did it go? Here, we'll just put Lexington, Kentucky into the Google Maps as well. Oh, okay, wait. My dumb ass, for some reason in my head, there was Kentucky and then over to the east of Kentucky was was gonna be was gonna be Tennessee. But really <laughs> I'm so dumb. Tennessee is south of Kentucky. So this makes more sense. So she's driving through probably through Nashville. That's what she just said. So I don't know, maybe she's not going to Oklahoma because every time I looked up like routes to Oklahoma, well, she could still be, but when I was looking up routes to Oklahoma, it was taking things or taking her through like St. Louis to get there. But maybe like, what if we picked, (laughs) what if we just picked, maybe I didn't go far enough south in Oklahoma. Maybe I was picking like Oklahoma cities that were too north and that's why I was taking it through St. Louis. Well, uh, listen, I also, I don't really need to know. Like, I will find out when she tells us where she's moving. I'm going to say there's still a chance we could be going over to Oklahoma. I think there's still a chance. Truly. Let's get back to her video. It's our second stop. 
It's been a couple hours. Okay. And I think we're somewhere in, like, in Tennessee. We're a little confused. Is there a place in Tennessee called Jackson? I don't know. Is Wait. Is it Jackson or Jacksonville? Oh, my God. Jackson. There, Just Jackson. There, there, There is a Jack. I still have the map pulled up over here. There is a Jackson that's, like, in between Nashville and Memphis. So, I think that's where we're at right now. I don't even know. I feel like, okay. It's just, my legs are, like, uncomfortable. That's, like, the only issue. It's just, like, they're super uncomfortable. Okay. As you guys know, I have lipedema, lipedema. So, it is a struggle bus for me. But I'm doing... I guess better than I thought it would be. Girl, you're doing um, it. You're it's making like it. Eight hours to go. Eight hours. You're making it. It actually feels nice. We are on our it's way. Really good. So I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Check on my cats. They're actually doing better than I, I also like, am even. still very curious where Twinkie Star is at in this car. <laughs> like there looked like there was next to no room in that back seat at all, anywhere. I wouldn't be meowing as much as I would have thought. And we're gonna um, take Twinkie potty. So, that's the update. Okay. Oh, well, there's it's Twinkie. So good to get up and walk. She, she is, in fact, with with the group. <laughs> she is in the car. I just don't know where she's, she's hanging out on this trip. It's super windy, so I hope you guys can even hear me. Oh, oh, she's peeing. You're really gonna, Let's give her you're really gonna put Twinkie's business out there, huh, girl? Privacy. Going over a bridge with some pretty lights. Work. I have no oh, the idea cats are meowing. Oh, Arkansas! Oh, we made it to <laughs> Arkansas. <laughs> okay, that was perfect timing. Okay. It's okay, baby girl. It is, it is still possible we could be. Ending up in Oklahoma. I, I think I'm looking at the like major roads, and if she's currently in this video on I 40, there is a way that she could keep on going on I 40 into Oklahoma. Just going over a bridge. Okay, so I'm in some random bathroom in Waffle House. Um, Waffle House? Like, Ooh, I, listen, I do love an occasional Waffle House moment. About five hours and like 50 minutes left. Time is going by a lot quicker than I thought it would, so that's good. Y'all, it's 4.30 in the morning and I've realized I'm I obsessed. have no idea where I am. No idea where I'm located. Well, girl, pull out your phone and look at a map. <laughs> It's also probably fine. Although I'm guessing she's already made it to wherever. Otherwise, I don't think she would have posted all of this that she was like out and about traveling. But I, listen, I'm so impressed with how much footage we're getting from this journey. Oh my God. We are so tired. Um, my legs are bothering me. I did not want this to happen. I knew it was going to, but they're very swollen. Listen. And that's like the only thing I was worried about is like the pain and the just keep pushing, stuff. girl. Right? Like, I feel like you're almost there. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So I have to keep telling myself like it's gonna be okay. It's gonna like, be fine. Just be positive, it's gonna be fine. Like, we got this. It. So good. So yeah, we have about four hours to go. This is my version of coffee. And I don't want coffee. Okay, work. Because coffee gives me anxiety. It's like too much caffeine. Work. I fucking love Diet Coke. No complaints for me. So I got a Diet Coke because I'm so tired, but I need to stay awake to be supportive of Feline because I feel so bad if I'm sitting here sleeping while she's driving. I could never, so. Also, though, it, what what's it to you to be up at 4.30 in the morning? Let's not act like your sleep schedule is perfect, okay? <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. But I do appreciate that, that she's staying up to, to support Feline while Feline drives because... Listen, I've been the person that was driving the car when everybody else fell asleep, and it's it's tough. This. Okay, so on top of having my good old Diet Coke, I got some peppered beef jerky. Oh, this is taking me back. This is taking me back because she used to always she used to always bring beef jerky for a little road trip snack. I'm loving that she's got the beef jerky. I just needed a little something. Um, I could have stopped and like got fast food, but I'm not really. You're a healthy right queen. Now. I don't want anything like big, but I just wanted some jerky. I got the peppered one, and Feline loves the sweet and hot, which is also really good. But really good. I just kind of grew up on the peppered one, so it's like what I'm used to. Oh my you, God, so good. You grew up on it. 
I grew up on the peppered beef jerky, so I'm just used to that. That's just what works for me and my family. Yum. Slap. Slappity slap slap. Yeah. I am hungry. I'm, I'm recording this on, like, Sunday night, and I am a little hungry. I'm going to have to figure out what, what I'm about to eat when this video ends in two minutes. I swear it's at. Stop sleeping on beef jerky I'm because it is on it. one of the best snacks ever. Honestly, I'm so happy. Also, though, who does she think is sleeping on beef jerky as a concept? The vegans? <laughs> the vegetarians? Like, I'm so freaking tired right now. I'm normally sound asleep with melatonin running through my body. But right now, I'm like, I feel like I'm in Twilight Zone. Is life real is, right now? Is that, is that with I old so. Edward and Bella and Jacob? But it doesn't feel like it. So, that's where I'm at. Hello. Hey. It's oh, it's daylight. I'm so tired. Um, we stopped one or two other times. I didn't vlog. That's I'm okay. Just in my own little that's okay. Head. But we are 45 minutes away. So, we did it. It was successful. Uh huh. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. I was so nervous about this ride, but I did it. I was so uncomfortable because I'm just in this tiny little spot. This has been my spot the whole time. <sighs> that chair, that <laughs> that car seat has seen some shit, okay? It has seen some things. Thank you, chair. I've loved you every minute. Y'all, I have officially made it to my destination. Yes! I'm going to end this vlog, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. You can't tell us where you're at? You can't tell us where you're at? Listen, that's been... Honestly, truly, my most favorite Amber Lynn Reed video in a minute. <laughs> and probably months. Well, I don't know. Eh, I don't mm. <laughs> Don't quote me on any of that. Don't quote me on any of that. But I, I really enjoyed it. I got to be irritated with her fucking suitcase. And I got to genuinely enjoy seeing her make this trip. And I'm so glad that she did make the trip. I know that was something she was worried about. I'm thrilled that she got there safely. And I feel like, you know, we're on the precipice of, of some new content. And I can't wait. I'm thoroughly, truly, genuinely so excited. And I hope she doesn't disappoint. Although, it is within the realm of possibilities. So I'm going to keep my expectations low. Anyways, I have been filming for so long, <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this return to the YouTubies from me. I hope not to be gone for a long time again like that anytime soon, but thank you so, so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!